Right, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Titan 5-in-1 Backpack Multi-Tool. This is a strimmer, this is a hedge cutter, pole saw, brush cutter, and that's about it. All in one in a backpack format. So let's get this box open and see what we've got for it. Just a note on price, I paid $189.99 delivery included from screw fix for this so let's have a look at it shall we all right so we've got the box here cardboard get rid of that so what do we get we've got a fuel mixing bottle so it's nice to have this is 40 to 1 the machine is put that down there we've got our strimmer shield put that down there Got a handle. Going to run out of space, aren't I? Let's see what else we got. All right, here we go. Let's see what this is. There's my blade. Need my blade. Cut this open. These are Wonder Mats blades, very good. Alright, so here we have our strimmer head slash brush cutter head. Then we've got a cover over our, our um, port there. Put that there. What else we got there? Right, this is our extension. So you're able to, for example, take the cover off. You're able to connect it up, give you a longer reach. So there we go. And don't forget, I'm going to be just demonstrating all of this. Depending on how long the video is, I may do it on as a separate one. Oh, it's, uh, ah, here we go. So we've got our strimmer head. There we go. We've got our nice little pole saw. And of course, it's got its cover on. And you can change the angle of that. It's just got a little little button there. So you can change the angle, which is always nice. Goes from 90 to vertical. And in between. We'll keep it at vertical for now. And on the side there, it's got its own little oiling tank. And now, we've got our hedge clipper. Again, with the same button mechanism to change it. Got some nice blades on there. Looking forward to using this. Being able to Being able to do my hedges and stuff with that. You may have seen my electric um, hedge trimmer review. That's on a pole, also by Titan. It's one of my most popular videos. So this actually has two buttons. You have to click the one before you click the other one. And let's just go back on. There we go, put that there, and now we're left with the peach to do is zitch stomps. We have our backpack unit, so this is basically, basically a strimmer, strimmer engine that you have 
on your back you've got the backpack part here and then you have this flexible shaft a bit wibbly wobbly that isn't it it's a little bit rude that and then that'll go go mount in there Let's put that there and then you have then you have your control your on off on there and of course you will have your things mounted to there oh yes and you also get brush cutter blade with it i've got a few blades of my own so we'll be doing that but shall i try this on quickly for you guys let's do it so let's get this box out of the way but, uh, I'll just try this on quickly, guys. All right. So, we've got some nice, nice straps for your lower back and straps for your shoulders. And you've got straps that do it up. So, This bottom one isn't even done up. It's a bit, uh, a bit naughty of them. Point system, guys. So, right. So, I don't know if you can see that. But you have a loop there that this strap goes through. And then plugs into your buckle. Right. So now... So, I'll just get it on. And turn around. We've got this. And that's definitely going to need adjusting. I've got, got a bit of a stomach on the eye. But you get the general idea of you've got the motor and then you have your strimmer or what have you. And you're able to go like that or go like this, what have you. Right, guys, so I'm going to show you now how to assemble it. So we need to start with our flexible shaft here take this off now we're going to insert it into the engine so you can see there's a little pull pull thing here so what we're going to want to do is need to line that pull 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 thing up with that hole there so so that's at the bottom, so we want to make sure that's at the bottom. We want to pull our little pull tab, insert, and hear that click. That's now locked into position. Right, so that's your first step on the way to assembling it. Right, guys, so now we want to assemble the next bit. So what we need to do is we need to take our Allen key need to undo this bolt here and we need to remove that all the way keeping the washers on there so now we also as you can see we've got this flexible shaft got an o-ring here as well I need to make sure that's on you need to line it up so it connects in and you need to insert it so the o-ring goes in and then get 
get your allen key in your belt and tighten that down yeah that's firmly seated in and you just get it tightened down and then slide your cover over that and there we go that's the next bit of assembly done right so our next step is just to take these little clips here and get put the throttle cable attached that onto our flexible rubber shaft so, a little bit tricky to do there we go I've got one on it seems to have a fair bit of tension on it uh, again we're just taking these place them over the cable and then try and click them on it's a bit stiff but there we go right, so we've got that on so that's your next step in assembly so now we've got the whole assembly assembled now it'll be the accessories all right guys now for the chainsaw attachment so you can see you've got your saw it comes with the chain already on but if you did need to put the chain on for future use you unscrew this bolt here all these tools come with the, the machine so you just take off your cover there and then you would put your new you'd put your new chain on there and as I've done that I've just unseated it there we go right so I'll put that back on and I'll show you how to adjust the tension So, you can just see there, we've got a screw there, so that's what you need to turn in order to adjust the tension on the chain. The tension on my chain's all right, so I don't need to do it. But if you did do it, you just use that screw there and you turn it clockwise to tension and anti-clockwise to detension. And here you have your you have your lubrication tank so you want to get some chain oil and you just need to fill that up all right guys so now we want to put the blade cover onto our strimmer attachment so you have these two black allen key bolts so what you want to do is just lined up line up that bracket as you can see there, with your two holes. And then all you do is tighten it down. So then this has your cutting edge. That's 
covered up at the moment for your strimmer. So, right. Now, in order to put your line strimmer head on, what you need to do is, on the side, you can see there's a hole there. You need to line up your middle sprocket. So, lines up with both holes, as you can see and insert your screwdriver in that and that then allows you to undo this undo the bolt and undo that and your strimmer head simply threads on There we go. Hi, Pretstar. That's how you get your strimmer head on. Now, make sure you keep this and your bolt because you're going to need that in order to fit your brush cutter blade. Right, so now to fit your brush cutter blade, you want to line up your holes again. You need to take this other part off. You need to get your brush cutter blade. You need to fit it. Place that back on. And place your outer cover on. And then place the bolt on and tighten. Now you can get all different types of brush cutter blades. You can get circular saw ones, you can get these ones, you can even get plastic ones. So that's nice and tight. There you have it, your brush cutter blade. Now for the brush cutter blade in the instructions it recommends removing this bottom piece so let's just do that now right so to remove the blade guard for the strimmer head you need to push on these tabs i'm just going to try and show you what i'm doing it's a uh, Let's put it on. Ah, there we go. Right. And then you have to use your flat head to disengage that one. Right. I feel it's got it off, ladies and gentlemen. And I broke that middle tap there, as you can see. So. I'm definitely taking points off for that design. It's a stupid design. So hopefully the two outer tabs hold it on all right. Right guys, in order to attach your attachments, what you need to do is you need to uns unscrew that so it's loose. And then this here, you need to pull it like that so it pulls out because you've got a little um, little nub in there. And then you need to take your attachment, see that hole there? You need to line that up with the hole and do that. And it'll click in. And then you just tighten it up like so. There you go. Right, guys, thanks for watching my unboxing and assembly video for the Titan 5 in 1 backpack multi tool. Don't forget to subscribe to see my review and demonstration video. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.